My name is Alon Liel, and uh, I'm uh, the initiator of a petition of uh, 1,000 Israelis uh, to the European parliaments calling upon them to recognize Palestine. And um, in the last four months, uh, nine European parliaments uh, called for the recognition of Palestine. Israelis lobbying all over Europe in different parliaments for the recognition of Palestine, coordinating what we are doing uh, with the Palestinians. Uh, the result was that between October and December 2014, eight parliaments uh, voted and uh, called, for the, called upon their governments to recognize uh, Palestine, among them France, the two houses, Ireland, two houses, Spain, Portugal, uh, Luxembourg, and the European Parliament uh, also. It brought us to the middle of December with, a, with an unbelievable type of momentum in a rhythm of a parliament voting once a week, uh, reviving hopes among the Palestinians. Then uh, came this Paris uh, tragedy, these horrible uh, terror attacks in Paris with the impact on the whole continent. And uh, when we came back to this recognition agenda uh, toward the end of January, we were on a different uh, battleground. Uh, um, the hesitations uh, were enormous. Parliaments that were about to vote, uh, like the Italian parliament, uh, started postponing it. Here we stand with this uh, need to uh, revive this momentum. Uh, I hope that the Italians will do it soon and, and we can recover and it can travel to Finland and Slovenia and the Swiss parliament that are having these beginnings. The EU with 28 countries uh, was very reluctant to get involved uh, in the conflict on the political level. Europe said, we'll give money, we'll give money to Gaza, we'll give money to the West Bank. But uh, the fact that uh, it started rolling uh, four or five months ago on the political level of recognition uh, surprised us. And uh, uh, the mood uh, prior to it was, uh, we are the cheerleaders of the Americans. This is the prerogative of the Americans. We're not going to intervene. But when Europe took this responsibility, uh, we were thrilled. If uh, we'll build a European consensus, coming from the public, not from the government, and we'll build such a consensus, the four European members in the Security Council will vote in favor, and then we can get the nine. Then the Americans face the dilemma if to veto it or not. If there is even the danger of Palestine becoming a member state in the UN, or if it will really happen, then an unbelievable thing happened. Palestine is a member state in the UN without even negotiating with Israel. They, they bypassed all the issue of negotiation. This is a nightmare for Israel because the occupation at the moment uh, is uh, 47 years old, but it's still called temporary, temporary. But if we occupy a member state of the UN, we are in an entirely different international situation. If such a thing happens, uh, procedures will start to expel Israel from the UN. This is something no Israeli leader, no Israeli government, and definitely not the Israeli public can allow. This kind of rolling momentum can bring about a very meaningful change in the attitude of the Israelis to the conflict. If they are a member state and, and the Israeli public understands that Europe is not going to give up and the United States is not going to give up and the world is not going to give up, this is kind of leveling the playground and brings the Palestinians to the point 
uh, although they will not be stronger militarily as a result and economically as a result, but it brings them to the point that we have to relate to them.